Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, July 18th of 2020. Week 85. Week 85. Holy cow. Holy cow. Where's time gone? It just is flying. Yep. <laughs> so. So, what new news do we have today? This is one of the things I've asked Stacy to do a video for for weeks now. We're Actually, doing it today. More for months, but... It has been. However, I don't work until 3 p.m. today. We didn't rush. This is So the... we have Keto Cheddar Biscuits. Yes. If you watched the initial video that I did for the biscuits, is there, they were a butter biscuit. Very yummy. Is it from the same people? It is. Oh, from lowcarb.com. Okay. Very, very yummy biscuits. I Great with butter. Great with gravy. See, I'm not a biscuit person, but I know you are, so He's you're not. excited, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm very excited. So we're going to go up and make this today. Today. So watch for that video. That's interesting. So I want to see you make a video today. <laughs> no, well, you're making the video. I'll be on I'll the make the You'll video. <laughs> you do the video. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's better that way. Trust me. <laughs> I don't know. I think you did pretty good doing videos. I don't think people want to see me do a video. Uh, so last week I was 329.4 and this week this morning I jumped on the scale now through the week I had been on the scale a few times and I was a little disappointed with myself I, I would go up and I'm like wait let me review what I had my card manager because I do track still and uh, I wasn't seeing why but the body fluctuates through the week yeah. and this morning I was 329.4 so I'm a big zero on the up or down um, that's okay yeah, I, I guess I'll take that. I'm not, I don't know, feel stalled. I watched the video yesterday. I'll actually link it up here, and I apologize because I can't remember the name. It was it was interesting. It was a bariatric doctor, and he was talking about there is no stall. There's either moving forward or moving backward. And, uh, you know, of course, I feel in a keto stall in a sense. But he's just talking about things, everything from habits to, uh, to uh, like, a carb creep, they called it. Uh, where carbs come back in in small amounts where you're not paying attention and it could possibly keep you at a stall or there yeah. was there was some interesting stuff in it so I'll, I'll link it above and uh, you guys can check it out if you're interested in that type of a thing with a stall situation yeah um, yeah it was interesting I never watched this channel before so I'll probably try and tune into a few of them and just you know try and get a different insight on things and but uh, instead of looking back and instead of uh, focusing on the past and or what I've done right, wrong, or whether otherwise, I guess I just continue to try and stay focused forward. Yeah. And uh, I'm glad you're at least maintaining. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a little out of practice on my fasting. I'm a little out of a little out of practice on my windows because we were doing so much. I was doing so much traveling and yeah. staying in other places and <laughs> going to try and buy food and make food. And time so, zones um, were different. And time zones, everything was different. Uh, even where I was sleeping was all different, you know, so, but uh, I'm trying to get back into things and get some numbers going. I'm just glad I'm not 330 or above. I don't like being in 330, so <laughs> I want to get to the three, the lower 320s and then keep, keep moving forward. Perfect. But uh, that's me this week. And where are you at this week? Last week I weighed in at 137.2. This week I weighed in at 137. So just 0.2, but better than going up. Um... I remember getting a text from Stacy a, a few days ago, maybe three days ago or so. You said, I've met my step goal today, so apparently you I, were active. Yeah, I definitely was more active, which was nice. Um, running back and forth, uh, writing on cake. So I went back and forth to the bakery like four times from the front of the warehouse to the back of the warehouse. Um, and right after another, I'm like, can you guys just all coordinate it and let me do it all at one time? But that's okay. I got my steps in. Yeah. So... Um, I loosely have been tracking. I'm not eating anywhere near what I'm supposed to be eating. I don't eat enough fats. Um, so I think I'm eating a little bit more carby than Oh, but the tracking is fats. helping you see that? Yeah. Yeah. You're right. So she's she's <laughs> doing a little more tracking on the, the yeah. system. Bill did make what, eight pounds of keto meatballs. Yeah, well, sounds like a lot, but a lot of them were made for the purpose of freezing them because right. it's kind of a pain to put it all together and do it, in my opinion. And our so, daughter, Lauren, is eating keto as well. So yeah. where is she now? She's at one, well, we don't I don't want to say numbers. Don't say the numbers. numbers. 
But what has she lost? I think she's down 10 pounds now. 10 now. So, no, it was the second week? About second two and a half week. weeks. Yeah, just, about, uh, just over the second week there. Good for um, her. She had made a comment yesterday. I was talking to her, and she says, Mom, I put a skirt on that I used to wear. It's my favorite skirt, but it always popped because just, the stress. Yeah. And she said, she goes, I wore the skirt today, and there was a little wiggle room. Yeah. <laughs> so she was very excited. Get ready for that, right? Yeah. So I think once she sees that progress, and she's already seen it, but it'll... Help motivate her. It'll motivate her to continue to eat better. Um, even though she says, when she was at school, I can't do that. I'm like, you can. You just have to be a little bit more conscious of what you're eating. Yeah, you're just um, changing things up. Yeah, and the good thing is she does love vegetables. She loves cheese, so she definitely takes after me and that bill in that department. Well, for um, the cheese, but the vegetables. The cheese, is all vegetables, we... yep. Yeah. Raw vegetables are wonderful. So it's been a little different buying for three of us. We keep going, oh, I thought I just bought all them. Like, yeah. Ah, Lauren's eating with us now. So <laughs> I'll, I'll admit that's been a little different. Going in the fridge knowing that I have something there, and then I look for it, and wait, nobody eats this but me. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, that's happening a few And Lauren times. eats a little bit of everything. So normally I was pretty safe with a lot of the things that I would buy for myself because I'm not a big meat person. However, Bill is. And uh, so he never had to worry about me eating his chicken. And oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And now I went in the other day and I was like, oh, oh. I was so disappointed in me because what I wanted wasn't there. Yeah. So, but the meatballs were fantastic. He did my meatball recipe on yep. steroids. Yeah, I, I basically, <laughs> I used Stacy's recipe. I had extra eggs. I had extra Parmesan cheese. I used less almond flour and I doubled the spices, if not more than double. Yeah. I do not measure stuff. I just put stuff into the way that I've always been an intuitive cooker. I just put in what looks right to me. You know, people try and pin me down for it, and I always say, double well, <laughs> this, half of that, and one extra of this. That's the way I do my recipes. It's a little bit strange. In a pinch of this. But it doesn't seem that you mind it. Oh, I love them. When when I make the meatballs, I mean, the, the, they're good the way you make them, but I like them a little more flavored, I guess. Oh, I do too. The other I don't thing, like the almond flour, and I do like the Parmesan cheese, so I kind of changed that too. Yeah, we uh, on this last couple batches, we did the pork sausage from Costco. From Costco, I will tell you, you can really taste that pork sausage in there. So that's been oh, for years I fought with fun. for years I fought with Stacy about making a uh, true meatball by using different meats. Uh, you know, a pork, a veal, a, a ground beef. You know mix this up and she just wanted ground beef I only wanted ground beef and I made them that way for years but yeah. the one one or two times I did it she's like this tastes really good I said well that's because you, well, that's you need to I be out of the on. kitchen and let me cook this and then true. and then just taste it this is very true I need to be out of the kitchen and just let him cook. right because if you see me make it it drives you crazy <laughs> But I'm a, I'm a measurer. I measure everything to exactly where it needs to be. I will be. never measure. I never will. It just doesn't work for me. Although, when it comes to like making cookies or something where the measurements are That's very important. precise, I'm really great at that. Yeah. Still not so much. No, I, I, I'll give you 100% credit on that. I, <laughs> I think it's important when you're making a cookie or something that you measure it out and you do it right. Yes. Yes. You're going to make me some crack cookies soon, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know what they call them. I forget the, the exact name. I think name. it's a crinkle cookie. Uh, Greg and Stacy at Keso yeah. Keto uh, got us I haven't had those. those in months. I mean, it's probably been six months since I had them. I started to pull out everything the other day, and I didn't have, I think it was the unsalted butter that we needed, and mm -hmm. I didn't have that. So I did buy some the other day. Oh, good. Maybe we'll get some. Yeah. Those are really cool. They are. They're very good. Very yeah. good cookies. And we didn't really even change the recipe, did we? No, not at all. No, it tasted good. It was maybe a little too sweet for me. I'm not a sweets person, but um, maybe you could cut back on the swerve or something. Maybe make it more <laughs> of a more of a cookie versus a sweet cookie because it was really sweet. Yeah, that's just my opinion. But yep. If I was making them, that's the way I do it. But I don't measure stuff, so no, you, you won't see me making cookies. No. I cook, but I don't bake. Right. If she bakes. She can cook too. A little bit. Yeah. There's there's my my favorites that I like to cook, um, but. Typically, like the tacos, I love 
I like him, and so does Bill. A little bit more seasoned, so yes. that's been kind of more nice spicy. that I don't have to worry about uh, worry about that. So and you making your own seasoning mix. Yes, we use a little more of that at times because it's you know better and doesn't have as much of the sugars and carbs and right. junk. So yeah, that works. Yeah, it works out really well. There's been a lot of little tips and tricks that we've learned doing keto, and uh, pretty happy with them. Yeah, now I just got to get uh, focused forward and get a little more stringent on my windows and my um, just getting some fasting in, maybe maybe less snacks and more, you know, watching that one guy's video was kind of eye-opening to, to, to really rethink and revisit things and say, maybe I can, you know, I can do better. Yeah. I can do better. I can we both move, can. Yeah, I can move forward and do better. And I'd like to still see more of this come off, you know been very motivated by the sugars and the um, my sugars are better feeling better and obviously doing better on the clothes and everything too yeah. so yeah I gotta keep moving forward absolutely we'll get there yeah work in progress I can't believe it's been 85 weeks already though 85 weeks that just yeah. is crazy to me well at least we're getting our video done today yeah <laughs> sometimes I'm trying to rush to see her she's doing double shifts three or four right. days a week yeah I haven't and seen her much not rushing today so it's a little bit later only because we got to sleep in a little bit and then I was up preparing for the biscuit I'm oh, so excited good well we're gonna make that today yes so sounds like a plan alrighty so hang out with us and uh, I'm not sure how long it'll take to make that process it and get it out but hopefully by tomorrow by, by Sunday, maybe? Well, I have to work at 3, so you can probably work uh, on that tonight. I can work on it if we can get it filmed today. Yeah. I can get it ready for tonight or tomorrow. You're tickling me. I'm tickling <laughs> you. All right. All right, guys. Thanks so much for checking in with us. And uh, watch for this keto biscuit, cheddar biscuit to come soon. Yes. And um, I don't know. What other videos you got in mind? A French toast video. French toast, yes. There was a couple of comments on between Facebook and uh, YouTube as well as the comments uh, asking how we did the French toast that we did recently. And um, it was super simple. Bread. Super simple. Yes. Uh, very good. We have to run to Costco today anyway. Yes. So uh, if they have it, we're going to grab some bread and we're going to make some French toast and That's show you it. how we do it. Yay. Yeah. Super simple. I like very cream. good tasting too. It was very good. Bill made it uh, the last one and uh, it was very yummy. Yeah. We'll still tinker with it. Tweak it a little. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks and much. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Right. Bye.